Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T, and I want to go ahead and shout out Lorena War on Twitter. She was one of the first ones to send me this crazy story, honey. And not only did she send me this crazy story, she also sent me this gift with it. And when I seen it, all I could do was just shake my damn head, honey. Once again, our first favorite state is back in the damn news. Wretched ass Florida, come on down and take a bow for this fuckery. This entire situation is nuts. So what's going down in Florida now, you ask? What's going down is we have a 23-year-old man. His name is Joshua James. And he decided just on a fleeting whim to basically grab an alligator from the swamp and throw this alligator through a Wendy's drive through window. This entire situation is ratchet as hell. Everybody online is talking about this story. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Only on five, a story that thousands of you have been sharing from our Facebook page all night. In fact, at this hour, almost 2,000 people have shared this story today. A 24-year-old man, this man right here, accused of throwing an alligator through a drive through window. Our Jared Worksma spoke exclusively to his family tonight. And Jared, what are they telling you? Well, Jay, uh, Josh James' parents are telling us that uh, he is an outdoorsman and that uh, Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, was his idol. But above all, they say he is a prankster who meant no harm. Yet Florida Fish and Wildlife says that James grabbed a roughly three and a half foot alligator on the side of the road, picked it up, got it in his truck, brought it to this Wendy's behind us and just hurled it through that drive through window. Just a stupid prank that he did that now turning into this. And you Stupid. believe, you definitely believe this was a prank. Oh, 100% because he's a prankster. He does stuff like this because he thinks it's funny. Ed and Linda James say their son Josh is harmless, but he's sitting in jail facing serious charges. The charge against him is assault with a deadly weapon intent to do less than murder. <laughs> I don't even get that. I don't know how that I don't get it. They're still waiting to get the details from their son directly, but they say Josh knew one of the employees working at this Wendy's. Was well, somebody at Wendy's that they were pranking. Do you, not, do you think, though, that the people at Wendy's think it was a prank? Well, I mean, how could you not think something like that was a prank? Wendy's won't give any comment on the three-and-a-half-foot alligator seen here hurled through the drive through window. But Florida Fish and Wildlife was far from amused. They used a credit card receipt from a soda James purchased prior to the October incident and tracked him down in December. It wasn't until this morning the family learned the charges. They said, will he cooperate? I said, absolutely. He's not a bad kid. He's a stupid kid. He did a stupid prank. He had no problem with turning himself in. And you're saying that he is not a violent person? Absolutely or... not. It was a total prank. All right, back out live now at this Wendy's in Royal Palm Beach. Uh, once again, uh, for those of you who are wondering about that alligator, Florida Fish and Wildlife says that it was safely released back into the wild because uh, Josh James' parents did tell us he was not a violent offender, had no criminal past. We did look into that. We have not been able to find anything in his past in terms of criminal charges. As for this charge, it's against him now, assault with a deadly weapon with intent to do less than murder. We expect him to be arraigned tomorrow morning. He is spending the night in the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office jail tonight. As soon as we have more information, we will be sure to pass it along. But for now, we're live in Royal Palm Beach. I'm Jared Wurtzma, WPTV News Channel 5. All right, so you guys just watched this news clip. You know, like I always say, I don't know what the hell is going on in our first favorite state, ratchet-ass Florida. I don't know what's in the water down there. I don't know what kind of drugs folks are down in Florida taking. But when I tell y'all, Florida is always on the news for some of the biggest fuckery ever. I want to know what the hell was going on in Joshua's life that he just decided out of the blue to go to the swamp, grab this alligator, and chuck it through a Wendy's drive through window. And then what was he thinking as he was throwing the alligator through the drive through window? Now, another thing that bothered me with this news clip are his parents. You know, I understand taking up for your son and trying to have your son's back. But I love how they're trying to make it seem like he's just the innocent child. This man is 23 years old. What child has a fucking full grown beard? I'm going to need both his parents to have several damn seats. Your son is a grown ass man. What if that alligator would have bit that unsuspecting drive through attendant? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have to work fast food jobs and they have to deal with a lot of crap from customers. You know, getting cussed out, being berated and everything else. They should not have to deal with customers throwing deadly animals at them through the drive through window. You know, the whole situation to me is just insane. And for his parents to make it seem like he's like a 15 year old kid 
or like a juvenile to me is just silly. He's a grown man. He's 23 years old. That means he's old enough to know better. Point blank, period. So anyway. A local drive through is out of jail tonight. On his way to his car, our Tori Dunnan caught up with Josh James. And you watched her interview him first on Facebook Live. She joins us now live outside the Palm Beach County Jail with more on what James had to say. Tori. So Jay and Shannon, he walked out of the jail, stopped by, talked with us. And the interesting thing is he said... He had no idea how viral this story has gone because he's been sitting in jail today and yesterday as well. But he says he knew how serious it was when officials told him what those charges were. A little bit earlier on this morning, he went before a judge here in West Palm Beach. Now, just to reiterate, he is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and taking or attempting to take an alligator. We asked him if he had a message for people who are following his story, and here's what he said. Um, no, he doesn't, Judge. Uh, I got in a lot of trouble for doing this, so um, I definitely don't recommend doing it. Like I said, this is probably the last time I'm going to do this. Um, so, yeah, basically. So he says at the time he was sober and that he also admitted to police that yes, he did find this alligator on the side of the road on Southern. He and his friend went to the Wendy's. They decided to go to Wendy's because they had another friend, they say, who worked there. They said this was all meant to be a joke. They didn't want to hurt anyone. And he describes himself just like his family has described him as a jokester, a prankster, but he said, he definitely learned a lesson with this one that he won't be making or doing any jokes anytime soon. We're live in West Palm Beach. I'm Tori Dunnan, WPTV News Channel 5. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet ass story, honey. That's once again coming from our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.